Right. That thing out there, yes, a piece of a drone. Um, and that is coming in now, yes. It was a meteor storm. Um, I and I am carrying a rifle because um, I have been flushed by drones um, for a while now um, from a facility four kilometers that way. Right now you can't see it and that's because these uh, assertive installations worked in a way that they have a um, uh, the antenna is a script that, that controls the antenna range and it will uh, start by being zero and then gradually update uh, or increase the range until it um, it hits me for instance and then it will send drone after drone until the script reduces the, the length again so right now I can't see it because it is not broadcasting its presence oh there it came this is the drone and it's coming in um i have while it this is coming i have uh had to put some more uh large conveyor uh, and, oh man large cargo drones because this was actually filling up uh all my capacity so i couldn't uh change anything or, or uh, fill my bottles or anything because everything got filled up with stone. So that's why I turned this off. Um, but it's kind of, uh, it has shown the, the proof of concept here that it would be able to level out. Um, and I had, because of all the drones, been forced to put a missile turret and an extra Gatlin turret on and still I'm getting, I keep getting hit, um, and I have been uh, grinding away um, and removing the extra hydrogen thrusters. Um, over here, I have put my system in uh, in place. I turned off the other one, if I didn't say that before, then I actually turned off this one, because I uh, I actually want to prioritize the getting underground while these are coming, and to get some real defenses going. Um, so I will just put myself in position right there. Ah, well. And this is... Um, I put a projection of my entranceway so that I can control whether or not it, it actually is uh, drilling in, in the right way. I don't know what that was. I'm getting a little bit skittish. <laughs> um, I'm Meteor storm inbound. Oh, and oh man, meteor storm and drone at the same time. That can only go wrong. Um, I, I'm scared about what this thing is, or that is that is debris exploding, um, or what it is. But uh, it still is probably hit some kind of a snack. So I will just take my spectator cam and show you that down here I have the projection and I can see how far down my drilling is going to go. I'm, I'm going to let it go down uh, because I, I need some lower levels. Um, where am I? Because I don't need lower level here. Uh, oh well. All right. Well, maybe I'll just go in and adjust it. Um, 
to the depth of uh, of this. Um, Uh, it's not getting any closer, or is it? Maybe I can try... That's that. And that is a cargo ship. Is that? Yeah, if it gets inside of, I guess it's two kilometers, it, it will, uh, it will spark a drone. Um, but until then, I guess I'm safe. Uh, and I keep getting hit here, so I would like to get my stuff going as fast as possible, and maybe if I keep getting keep getting attacked from that direction, I might put up a, an advance um, defense facility up here to. Ugh, I guess that will come. I'll just go in here and just what is that? Is that no that's not it. It's this one. Ah. I missed the build vision. And I can't do that. So I have to get in and down here, area depth. I think I will go for 40 meters. Is that enough? Um, Oh, why is it so low down? I think the forward one is too fat. Maybe I should making sure that yeah, it's not it's not even showing here. Right. So the forward offset needs to be I'm willfully not thinking about um, my stuff here. If I say zero or 50, I oh, let's guess it's 75, so it'll gonna be 22. So if I put it to Twenty for it. That should put it behind me. No, no, just right, right. Let's see if that's enough in the bottom. It isn't. It needs another five meters, I guess. So I will take the area depth and go to 45 meters. Let's 
spectator cam, that's not enough. I need more. 45 to 50. 55 meters, maybe? Hmm. Let's go 50 meters. And see if that's enough. I guess that just about covered it. Yeah, it does. Just below the thing. Cool. So, just track a little bit here. Oh. Is that low enough? No, it's not low enough. <laughs> it's not low enough. It just needs a little bit more. Whoop. So, uh, just to be on the safe side then. I will, and I can always deep it. Yeah, I can always, I can always get it deeper. But let's just put it for 55 meters, and I will set the sound volume down to 10, and start the thing. And now that will. And it missed me. And now I kind of want to build some forward ad uh, advanced facilities down there. Um, so what do I need? I need some heavy armor blood. Yeah. Oh, and Gatling guns and a battery. This is meant not to be moved a lot. And a small reactor. For keeping up the power. That must be it right now. So I just see the Small reactor and the and then heavy right. It's coming from up here, so where can I put it? Maybe here. Then it'll be a little bit in uh, and it'll be a little bit in in cover. And what do I want here? I want a Gatlin turret here. Yes, I want a Gatlin turret. And just because it's not needed, but I just want it to look like it's supported. But these are only light armor blocks. Meteor storm inbound. And then I want a energy critical. Yeah, I'm coming in. I just have to remember to put a GPS marker here, otherwise it, it can be hard to find. I'll put some lights on it later. But right now I'll just put a GPS 
beautiful word defense. Right, and I will put on the Gatlin turret, but I will put that on. Stones coming in. I can afford to use all these armored steel plate because I have a lot of materials, but normally you wouldn't be so wasteful with materials. I just realized that all the center ones will not be will not be welded up, which is okay. Right. And then my Gatlin turret. That's a hang of a lot of meteor storms coming in. Right. I will weld this up. And that's a okay. Um, I will just quickly spend all I have here, and I will go back. And pass it all this, and I'll start by getting some ammo. With there, let's take. Oh, I have to get my things going here, and then have that thing. That's all that I can carry for now. For what defense, and you can actually see the the reaction or or the uh, effect of my uh, my new skybox is that it is uh, it's actually pretty dark until I get used to. Uh, that's probably always full. I'll just quickly fill up what I need. Right. I have now uh, put in a battery on the far bottom side and put on um, the tower. I've just welded up the front. Maybe I'll take this, but right now just keeping up the front with heavy armor. And all I need now is um, to put on um, a small reactor. Um, and I will do that. By putting it down here. And I'll just components add it to build planner. And I'll just drop what I have here. And get what I need and some uranium. I'll just take 50. Nope, that's cancel. Uranium. 
950. That should be enough. And uh, some ammo just to fill up. Uh, when I get my base going, I will have these defense stations uh, ahead, and I might find a more um, standardized. Um, Meteor storm inbound. Oh. Hmm. a standardized look for them uh, but they will be then connected to the base uh, but right now I just put it in some that way and that one is actually also shooting me earth that's not necessary um, target meteors off. Target missiles on. Yep. Um, and I just want to put what's in 240. That's one, and it's going down there. Right. Now, um, for the last of this episode, I'll just want to go check on my drilling cool that's actually going pretty well um, and this is uh, this is the good thing about this is that it is actually what is this floating up in nowhere that's not supposed to happen it's supposed to fall down now um, that you can drill very specific holes for uh, your structures. Um, you can't make round holes. Then you have to put this uh, drill on some kind of a rotor pointing outwards and then drive it around slowly and that will take forever. You can get and if you do it with two rotors, you can actually get a circular, um, a circular, uh, yeah, you know what I mean, a, uh, a circular dig site, or a digged out circular. So this one is collecting a lot of stone, and over here. This one is quarter full, and this one is almost full, and the cargo container too is totally full, and my refinery is going and going and going, and my O2 generators are burning. Right. So when this one is finished drilling i um i will then um i will then come back and uh show the, the second part of the system which is a building system um energy low so that's what I'm going to do uh, in uh, the next episode. Meteor storm inbound. And for now, I'll just say um, thanks for now and happy building. Right, I um, I regretted what I did before. Um, uh, and I want you, because I, in the edit process, I realized that uh, this would be a very short episode. Uh, so I'm just going to show you two things. First of all, um, after I finish killing up my meteors, Um, 
I will just put down a programmable block here. I just need to get the stuff I need. And I will under edit browse scripts. Down here I will have whips auto door and it should be working. It managed three doors. So that's because it's managing this door. Ah and this door. And this door. So now th those will close automatically. Um, the second thing I want is actually get started over here is uh, the automatic build system. Um, build and repair, it's called. Um, you can see that it's actually finished digging and um, it dug out just a bit more maybe a block than what was needed and that is absolutely square so I can turn this block off and then I can take my build and repair which way I turn it it doesn't matter it just have to have a connection up to the system the conveyor system that is uh, okay right before I turn it on I will go in and choose fly mode and wealth before grind it has a lot of options that we will uh, that we will come in uh, into af after we do after we do uh, in in that order that we need them um, a lots of options and it is possible for it to collect material ingots and or when ah, let's wait with that um, still also 10% um, what this will do is now where we just okay show area and now we will just take my drill system and I have both of them and I just no show for that and uh, now you can see another area with another icon and that means that everything that I set to up here it will build mm -hmm. Now this is cool. Um, toggle block off. On, sorry. And now it will collect all the items from my cargo container and my stuff in here. And it was actually build and repair whatever is broken here. Just outside. <laughs> Well, I can actually make that. Can I do that from here? Nope. Uh, I have to get in. That's the only one thing that you can't use build vision to toggle the, um, the areas. Um, no wonder if it is horizontal of no 
Is it vertical? No. Where is it? No vertical that that one. So forward that one. So what it will do now is that it will fix whatever is wrong over here. And did I get far enough back? Yes. But I actually could get... No, I actually just missed the top front, but whatever. Um, and that is all the thing you go here. And when it has uh, fixing that, it has a priority set to uh, repair before uh, weld um, and, and start new. So it will actually fix everything that's wrong over here. And when that is done, it will begin building this. Um, and I can see that I just, when this is finished welding, I can actually, yeah. I actually have to Meteor move that inbound. a little bit more to the side, otherwise it won't take all. So minus 69, minus 65, is that enough? Just not. A lot of meteor storms. Let's just say minus 55. Now that should be enough to cover all this. It is. And it will fix all that is wrong with my ship too. All my solar panels and everything else that is wrong. And now, you can see that this has spawned. If I just take my... Oh. It was back on Earth. Where is the moon? There. My base is there and over here is the pesky thing. That's a drone coming my way. And there is another one coming my way. And that's because in this direction, if I can find it, there is a drone facility. I uh, can't see it right now because it's not broadcasting. Well, whatever. But I have two drones coming in. And I am I would like to see how my forward forward defense system Can't see them. Hmm. They have to be line of sight. Um. Hmm. That's too bad. They have to be line of sight, and this one is just not high enough for it. Let's see what happens when it gets closer. 
Meteor storm inbound. Let's see that one. So it sees that one. That one you haven't seen yet. That was a meteor. Now it will soon see have to see this one soon. Now Now this actually works pretty good. Although it's not actually totally destroyed, it's just hanging there. It's just that the programmable box and the batteries and the not the batteries but energy low. Yeah, okay. Right. I'll go back. This actually seems to work fine. I just in my inventory I have or, oh no well I just dropped them off I had some power packs or power kits now the only thing this is I can actually open that one before the that the other door is closed, but at least it closes up. Then I'll just have to wait. Until the other one closes up. Lunar Observer, that's the one I was looking for. Now it has it reached it has reached my my limit. Oh, was it there? I'll just go th through the land and the moon. This is the facility facility that is spawning all the drones. And it seems kind of it seems like it's possible for there's an interior turret there and an interior turret there and one in here so that is the defenses so it should be possible um, to get to her. It's not too far away, so if I get too annoyed by it, um, it's just hanging here. <laughs> and the other one is lying over here. Cool. Right. Now, This one is still fixing, but as soon as it's done with that, it should begin building up this one. It's a little bit open to that side, and a little bit open to that side, but that doesn't really matter because the lid is coming on, and it should cover everything. So we won't see the hole. Mm, maybe, maybe not. We're going to see it here. Uh, nope, that's because I was there. <laughs> I thought so it would cover. All right. But that was what I was going to show you now. This is the build and repair system. 
um, and it does have some scripts uh, scripts attached to it um, but this will build any block in its radius that is unfinished so if for instance I just put on a uh, well I just need to grab what's in there uh, right I just need to put one there and as soon as it's done fixing that over there it will come and do this one see if I can oh, there it was now it fixed or oh, beginning to fix it and now it's done I'm not doing anything this is uh, the build and repair system so let me just see here weld before grind welding only um, I can choose the color that um, that it will be used to build and uh, grind um, so right now armor block is way down so I just put it up oh, up so now it should begin the armor blocks and leaving the rest Genesis grinds enemy blocks that will check anything in the bot that is enemy uh, blocks and that will clean it up um, and there I can work whether to disable it or to hack it um, and this is the grind priority it's not doing that and collect it will collect components immediately that will mean it will pick up components Let's see if it can do it here um, I just threw some components and whoops and it went away and where did it went? it was connected up more That's not a meteor storm, that's a... I drone. That came on. And it's fixing this because... My own... My own things are firing. If there's still an antenna or something uh, active on this, it will, or a warhead for that matter, it will be fired upon. Isn't that firing? Huh. It's actually been shot. Alright, I just need to fix that. Because this is outside the area and it will not be repaired. And it's actually not hit by that, so it could be that it'll be. It was hit from this side. And I can't. Then I have to put them on there. Well, I just f figure out to put a line of because the collision box here made I can't put something on here, so I just put on a line of um, heavy armor boxes, uh, heavy armor 
um, blocks here to cover up for those coming from over here so but I will do that uh, off camera and uh, now I will say um, I got shot uh, now I'm going to say um, and this is not something is hit down there it's broken it's kind of where I should actually put a film repair system down here too so that's my that might be what I'm going to do and green now it should be working so um, that will be it for this time and I really mean it this time. So uh, thank you for watching and happy building.